How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee. Hey, this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. And throughout musical history, composers have relied on strings to convey wide ranges of emotion, from the joyous events to the tragic and emotional and even disturbing. And uh, as modern composers, we have such a wide array of orchestral libraries and string libraries to choose from but sometimes they don't cover all the bases and provide the very unique and sometimes unusual sounds that we need. And that is where Audix Angel Strings Volume 1 comes in. Okay, so Angel Strings is a very unusual string library running in contact. And it comes in three different uh, NKIs, and we're going to take a look at each one individually. And uh, they provide just some traditional types of articulations, and then we're going to get into some more crazy articulations as well. Okay, so when we look in the browser, you can see the three NKIs. You have runs and tremolos, sound effects, and tonal longs and shorts. And these kind of allow you to have just a wide variety of, of things to choose from. And so I'm going to go ahead and load the longs and shorts. And you can see you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have 10 different articulations here. So I'm going to play through some of these and let's take a listen. Yeah, isn't that cool? Uh, what Angel Strings has done is record the entire string section and laid it out across the full range of the keyboard. So that allows you to get immediate, uh, you know, I guess immediate satisfaction when you're uh, putting a string part together because you can just play those lows. And when you play soft, and slow, the uh, lower velocities just bring in those longs, but if you uh, dig into it a little bit, then it's more of the shorts. So, and I'm using an expression pedal, and you can also use the mod wheel uh, to get a little more expressiveness and the dynamics out of, the, uh, out of these. Yeah, so when you have the mod wheel all the way up. And, you know, mod wheel and expression pedals and things, those give you just uh, access to just getting 
everything out of the instrument that you can get out of. So this is the sustains and marcados, and let's move on to the really one of the first unusual uh, articulations is the cluster to unison. So the strings, uh, the different string sections are all going to start, the players are all going to start out at a different spot and then wind up in a unison. So let's take a listen. Yeah, that's pretty dramatic. So let's try that again. One of the things to take a look at is the you've got this start uh, underneath this articulation. So that will let you adjust the sample start time. So I'm going to go ahead and just move it towards the middle. So it, it's not as long getting to the unison. So it's going to it's going to start somewhere along that trail. So let's go ahead and move it almost all the way over. And let's move it all the way. You can get some really crazy sounds out of this library for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a lot of these uh, are played in unusual positions on the on the stringed instruments, like around the bridge, where you'll get this really uh, unusual nasally and harsh or glassy sound. That's a beautiful sound. This is a, t a timbre oscillation, and it and it's kind of like they're doing different things when they're playing. And the one thing that Audic has done is record the string section kind of like all together at the same time, and that gives you just a nice cohesive uh, feel to the sound. It's consistent. Um, and you can hear just this unusual tone and uh, texture. And you can hear the uh, attacks. And this is the solpont, and that's again another articulation close to the bridge. And you hear how gritty that sounds. And that's where you can get into the more dramatic. Uh, dramatic sounds with this. And now this is a tremolo with, uh, with that at the bridge. That just gives you that, that really suspenseful. Um, okay, now the bend, the bend down and up. And you can see the little graphic in the articulation uh, uh, box there uh, where it shows you how, what to expect. So uh, let's check this out. And once again, you have the sample start adjustment where you can just get it right from the, you can shorten the length of the, uh, yeah, so. So it lets you adjust it according to the, uh, the time or, you know, if, it, if, it's, if it's not fitting in quite right to your arrangement when you want to use that effect, then you can uh, just adjust that sample start time. And you can actually assign that to a MIDI controller. Uh, so, yeah. So here we go, bend, uh, bend up and down. And what makes these really useful is because they are not uh, pitch bending uh, the samples. <clears throat> these are actually performances that are being captured. And that's what makes this uh, very useful because it's, uh, it sounds more authentic. It's because you have real players playing these phrases.
Yeah. So that's that's what makes it really cool. And this is the um, a shuttle spiccato, and uh, I I like this. Um, I just love the way that has that little bite. And here you see again the usefulness of having the entire string section mapped out across the keyboard. And now we have this another type of spiccato. Yeah. A soltesto. So you can find it's very useful when you have everything available to you at, at the same time through these key switches and, and it just allows you to have so much flexibility. Okay, so let's go to the next, um, the runs and tremolos. And the runs and tremolos are really kind of cool. So the runs and tremolos give you two uh, different playing techniques. You have a bowed run technique and a timed tremolo. Uh, and the time tremolo to me is, is more just like a, a step sequencer or, or an animator. But the bowed runs are, is kind of a technique that allows you to, uh, when you're playing the runs, it kind of helps connect the notes to, together a little better. So. thing. So let's put it in the middle here. So it just kind of helps things to kind of connect a little bit. And now you have the time tremolos. There's four slots in um, in this playing technique. So you, you have up to, um, you've got four different slots. And then with each slot, you can have up to uh, 30 second, uh, up to a 30 seconds of resolution, and you can have up to eight steps. So we can turn that on to eight steps and kind of listen to what that sounds like. So it just gives you gives you some ideas. And then you have the key switches up here that go between the four slots. Yeah. And so you can uh, customize these slots to uh, give you just some jumping off points for arrangements and to, and you know so so you're not having to sit there and play those notes like that it does it for you and each step controls like a dynamic so you can just kind of you know run your kind of draw something in here okay so it's the dynamic it starts loud and it just kind of That kind of gives you an idea with that. So let's go ahead and go into the most unusual section, and that is the sound effects. Uh, the sound effects. And the sound effects really introduce some of the most bizarre articulations that, honestly, uh, Angel Strings is, is, is probably the only library that you're going to find these very unusual articulations. 
So this is a rises build. And you notice as well, they have the sample start time, so you can adjust those to taste. And all of these are loaded in at the same time. So you can use the key switches once again to go in between all of the different articulations. So let's take a listen at these. Yeah, and I used that one in the, in the opening. That's just, that just is very, it's very cool, but, but sometimes disturbing as well. So, oh, wow. So this is a uh, rises attack. So there's more of an attack in the front end. And the graphic will let you kind of see what to expect in, in a way. So now this, this is like a dive. and then it's gonna land. And once again, these are these are performances. These are these are captured performances. So that's what makes them so useful and so real. Yeah, so it's a smooth dive and this is more of an attack. Yeah, oh wow. Now this is a dive, a tremolo, so this, this ought to be. Yeah, so they're just, they're just going for it. Yeah, that's very wild. Okay, so now this is a tremolo right at the bridge. So this is where you're gonna get that, again, that harsh, <laughs> okay, now this is a sustain at the bridge. Yeah. Just very, very wild. They're, then they're scratching. They've got a scratch tone here. So, you know, you're, you're not going to find these sounds in, in very many, if any, libraries. Um, and then they give you a really cool percussion, um, percussion layer. Yeah. And that just lets you just add those little, little extra cool elements. So I'm going to go back to the... Um, the tonal longs and shorts and just show you how they have the mixer set up. And this is another great feature is because you have, you know, you have a have tree mic, outriggers, a room mic, uh, some classic ribbons, and then a, a, a like an algorithmic reverb. You don't, I don't really know exactly what they use, but just to give it a little ambience. And then here you have spot mics. For each section, you have violin one and violin two here. Uh, you have violas, double basses, and the cellos. And so you have them as a group, and then you have the ability to uh, come in and just mix them as individual parts. Before we get, get off of this uh, section, I'll just show you real quick the filter. And then you have the ability to set the envelope for the attack. So you can almost have like synth uh, string uh, textures, uh, string synth textures. And you have a really unusual uh, vowel uh, filter. That lets you do some really cool creative things. So let's just turn that filter back off here. But I just kind of started playing around with uh, with this idea. 
It just was a lot of fun. The opening piece that I did, I just kind of read, and then I just improvised underneath it, uh, the, the reading, and Angel Strings made it so easy just to kind of pull that together very quickly. And so I just kind of laid down a real simple, uh, simple pattern here, and we're just, we're just gonna kind of play around with this. Because it just encourages you to play. Wow, and so that is Angel Strings from Audict. And I wanna thank you for joining me today. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, go ahead and subscribe and click on notifications because you don't wanna miss what's coming up next. And until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.